Expanding algebraic expressions. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. First, some revision. Say we have an expression 2a plus 3b. 2a is a term and 3b is a term. If we have 2a plus 3a, you'll notice that the letters are the same. They both have a's in them. These are what we call like terms because the letters are the same. If we have like terms like this, we can add them together. So we get 2a plus 3a equals 5a. Same thing with 2a squared plus 3a squared. These are like terms. So we can add them together to make 5a squared. If we have 2ax plus 3a, you'll notice the letter combinations here are not the same. So these are unlike terms and we can't add them up. So too with 2a squared plus 3a. Even though they're all a's, the 2a squared is different to the a. So we can't add them up and they are also unlike terms. Okay, so say we're asked to expand 3 outside of x plus 2. That means that the 3 needs to be multiplied by both terms inside the bracket. So 3 needs to be multiplied by the x and also by the 2. So we get 3x plus 2 times 3 or 3x plus 6. So we've expanded that expression. If you're asked to expand this one, 10a outside of 5a plus 3, again, we need to multiply the 10a by the 5a and also by the 3. So what happens is we get 10a times 5a plus 3 times 10a. So 10a plus 5a is really 10 times 5 times a times a. And then we have adding that to 3 times 10 times a. So 5 times 10 is 50, a times a is a squared, so we get 50a squared, then 3 times 10 times a is 30a. And so we've expanded that expression.